Hi guys, StratCraft here, and today we're back for another educational video on how to do filtration of your alcohol-based tincture. So first thing that we had done was we soaked our plant material for about five minutes in the freezer. Um, the idea with that was to eliminate as much of the chlorophyll and waxes and lipids of the plant material into our final extract. So by doing that in a sub-zero temperature, um, we're going to eliminate a very, very large amount of that. So what we're going to use today is a Buckner funnel or Buchner funnel. Um, these are available on extractcraft.com. And what this is going to do is we use paper filters that sit in the bottom of the ceramic funnel. And we actually have a vacuum hose hooked up to the side of the flask. Now what this does is it will actually pull the tincture down through the paper filter and into the flask creating a much, much cleaner and finer end product. Um, we actually will be using the vacuum port on the source turbo as our vacuum assist on our flask. So first thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and wet down our paper filter. This ensures that when you apply the vacuum, the paper filter sucks to the bottom of the funnel um, in order to make sure nothing goes underneath the paper. So as long as you get all the edges and everything else, we just want to make sure we got all that. Uh, then we can go ahead and apply our vacuum. So we take our hose and we just kind of hold it over top of the vacuum port and then we can start our process. And one thing you want to make sure you do is leave your vacuum uh, valve just a little bit open to ensure that we're pulling vacuum through the whole time and the machine doesn't stop. So we can go ahead and start our process here. And then we want to make sure that our filter paper sucks down nicely to the bottom and then once we have that we can go ahead and begin to apply our tincture and just like that the vacuum pulls the tincture right through and down into the flask now one thing I like to do is I like to make sure I do at least three passes through the filter paper just to ensure that we've caught as much of the fine particle waxes and lipids that we can. And just like that, it sucks it right down. So we can go ahead and stop the process here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a second and a third pass also. Okay, so now what we are doing is we're gonna go ahead and prepare our second pass through our filter paper. Um, so we go ahead and hook this up, start the process. And like, like before, we wanna make sure the paper filter sucks down to the bottom before we start to apply the tincture. Okay, and now we're done with this second pass. So we'll do one more pass after this. Okay, guys. So now we're back to do the third pass through the Buchner funnel. Uh, one thing I wanted you to keep in mind was with your paper filters, they're typically going to come in a fast, medium, or slow feed. Um, what's important is to use the fast paper filter on the initial pass, on your first pass. And then after that, once the alcohol has been cleaned up a little bit after that first pass, then we can go ahead and use the slow feed and catch even more of that particle and those waxes and lipids. So we go ahead and put our paper filter in and we are going to wet it down as always. Make sure that's good and wet before we get started. And okay. And now we're going to once again use the source as our vacuum assist. Start that. We make sure that paper filter is sucked down nicely. And then we begin pouring in the tincture. Okay, 
And so now we go ahead and stop the process and we can actually remove our funnel and everything. But after three passes through the Buchner funnel, you should have a nice, beautiful, golden colored extract tincture ready to evaporate down. Um, you can get all these things, the Buchner funnels and the kits and everything on extractcraft.com. Uh, if you have any questions, you can always reach out to us. But don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our page, and uh, leave your comments below and let us know uh, what you thought. Thank you.